Okay. Yes, well, I'm wondering how to cut short an extremely long story which is associated with this particular canvas. Um, in fact, it started when I went to America. I met a Cherokee family, uh, Cherokee French, French because of the invasion of the French and the rape of one of their family members um, in the 1800s. Um, and I became very attached to them. They took me all the way to uh, the north of the Sierra Nevadas on the coastline side. And they took me to meet an Indian chief. I became so kind of magically entwined with them for just a few short days. Um, and it left an indelible impression. So when I came back, I felt I had to show some of the things I'd seen. I, the mountains actually weren't kept in snow, but uh, for the purposes of artistic license, in fact, I put the snow on them. And there was not, in fact, a volcano. But of course, in times gone by, in those Sierras, there'd been many volcanoes. Um, and the tribal woman and her papoose, uh, representing really the closest to nature that the tribe that I met, and there really is their name, the Miwok tribe. Uh, I met their chief, and they still live as close to nature as they can. They don't kill animals, but they do eat meat that's that's died, as it were, of natural causes. Um, yes, most amazing experience, and, and I was just totally, completely entranced by it. Um, the protective nature of the the uh, mother and babe of uh, the lambs is just to illustrate uh, that when danger lurks, which is the eagle, uh, there's someone to defend. And the same with the mother and the papoose, if danger lurks. She has her arrows, not because she's going around killing things, but because she can defend herself against attack. Well, you know, I told you it was going to be a long story. So there we are, the story of the painting, which, by the way, no longer exists because it got stolen, which, yes, uh, that's a whole other sort of story. So if you do come across it, uh, do let me know. And I'd like to get it back <laughs> if I can.